Hello everyone, welcome back to another C-sharp tutorial. So in this video, we're going to be going over generics. Um, and I figured I would do a fairly basic example of generics. Um, and I'll just kind of show you this code that I have right here. Um, figured it would be less distracting. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Um, we have our object of, uh, excuse me, we have our example object which is coming from the example class and example class is of is a generic so of type tt essentially means it can be any type for example um, so you recognize the generic with this t right here so however when we create um, a class or an, an object we have to specify which type this object will be for instance we could if we wanted to make um, all of this um, integers instead of strings. In fact, I'll show you that here in a second. Um, but right now we decide to go with string um, and now our list is of type generic as well. And so um, we declare this list as a string and then we can add um, our strings and then print out the items that we have in our list. So. Since this, is a, since this is a generic, we can um, do the exact same thing for an integer. So let's go ahead and type int, 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 and then we can do one, two, five. All right. So now we are able to completely change this object and this list to type integer because this is a generic. This allows us um, to uh, specify whatever data type we would like. However, when we create our object, we have to specify the specific um, data type that we're going to use. Um, but again, we can create multiple different objects using multiple different data types, or we can create multiple different objects using different data types, um, because that's what um, having a generic allows us to do is use uh, different data types um, if we so choose. So I hope this makes sense. Um, I hope this was a, um, I hope this uh, explanation of generics, at least from a very basic level, made sense and um, that this practical example um, was able to actually help you with using generics in your app. So let me know if you have any questions about this or if you'd like me to go further um, into this. Um, I figure generics is um, really one of those things where you just need to, uh, where you need to kind of figure out um, the basic theory behind it and then just start playing around with it. So. Um, let me know if you have any questions again in the comments, and until then, I will see you next time.